what's up? It's Stacy Storino. Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for entrepreneur moms with a digital presence in 2020. In today's video, I'm going to teach you an entrepreneur mom success trick that will help you literally to follow up on your dreams. If you're someone who's always wishing you could learn just one thing that would create a seismic shift in your life for the better, then this video that's part of my 31 day uh, 2020 entrepreneur mom reboot series is just for you. And stay tuned until the end because I do, I have a stat that will drive home my point with you in terms of this success trick better than anything else you've likely heard. Remind yourself about it the next time you need to go for it in business wise, and then want to check it out. So make sure you hit that like button if you're excited and subscribe to get real world help that entrepreneur moms like you need to succeed with your business's presence online today. 2020 entrepreneur mom, let's learn a critical success trick that'll make a difference in your professional life and even in your personal one too. It's a trick that too few people use even once they learn it, but perhaps they just don't want success as badly as you and I do. What can I say? So if you want to get serious in 2020 and work your business like a business, because then it's more likely to pay you like a business, then you want to watch all of this series. Otherwise, if you treat your business like a hobby, it'll pay you like a hobby if it even pays you or is profitable at all. So over the course of this 31 day series, I'll show you how to do everything from psych out self sabotage to dealing with hardcore rejection. You'll learn how to get out of your comfort zone and you'll also learn how to select a network even from scratch that won't just benefit you professionally, but personally too. If you missed the last video, you should watch it because I shared with you how to network in a way that you can gain more friends, contacts, customers, and clientele, even if your current inner circle is small or lacking, and a super mindset shift that'll take you from bro marketing light to selling like an assertive woman as opposed to an aggressive bore. So you'll want to check that video out. But here we're talking about my favorite 2020 entrepreneur mom success trick of all time, bar none. Way too few people use this trick and I'm telling you, it's their loss and your gain. What is it? It's following up on all things business related, period. The fortune is in the follow up as they say. You're not simply running a hobby at home. And if you follow up on business leads, you do, and if you don't, well, mama, seriously, you want a business, then you have to act like a business personally and get super serious and prompt about following up with people. The same advice goes for not following up on content that you posted that might have comments on it. Blog posts on your website, micro blog posts on say Instagram and Facebook. The same goes for not following up with checking and handling your business related email, your inbox on Facebook or Instagram, etc. You can set all of the smart goals in the world that transform into plans as you complete your goal setting work. And if you don't know how to do that, I've done a video in this series that'll walk you through it in no time. But you can set goals, have plans to achieve them. You can have all of the best intentions to make 2020 your best year yet as both a mom and an entrepreneur. But you know what? Marketing and sales is a huge part of having a business and there will always be leads to follow up on. Just like you have to follow up on emptying the washing machine before too much time passes because if you don't, well, the contents inside end up getting a nice film of mold on them. Well, so it is with business too. If a lead comes your way and you don't follow up on it at all, or you let too much time pass, 
that lead can spoil. I mean, it might not be all moldy, but you get the idea. This isn't dating where you might not want to seem desperate. So you'll let a phone call go unreturned for an hour or a day or something like that. Come on, mama. Business is business. So when you have your entrepreneur mom hat on, you've got to follow up on that email, that private message, that direct message. Address the comments and questions in the comment section on the blog post or the common thread pretty much everywhere else. You can get a lead directly through your own efforts, networking online, in real life, or both. And I've done a video on that topic too that you should check out because it'll help you a lot. That's wonderful, but let that lead go stale and you did a whole bunch of work for nothing. And I'd argue that self-sabotage got the better of you again. Perhaps you set goals that weren't believable to you on some level and as a result you're engaging in procrastination a definite form of self-sabotage and therefore you stayed inside your comfort zone by doing nothing new like following up on a lead and facing the unknown as a result well Maybe you need to visit the video in my series where I cover how to make your goals and their corresponding plans more believable so that they're ultimately more achievable. Nonetheless, most businesses that get off to any kind of start from blah to great will die on the vine because their owners don't follow up and follow through. The key to success is to follow up not just on your leads, but your sales in terms of continuing customer care too. White glove service is so lacking today. You offer that and persistently and consistently do that. People will love you and your brand. And the more they know, like, and trust a brand, the more likely they'll shop and become repeat customers. You must follow up and stay in touch with people in order to be responsible and diligent as a professional. You might be at home wearing sweatpants, stained with formula, sitting on a pile of laundry as you do your follow-up with the device of your choice, but nonetheless, you need to find time to do it. That could be in the form of a power hour, and if you don't know what that is, or the best ways to use one, of course, I did a video on that. But you need to schedule follow-up of all kinds as a regular part of your business so that you can appear to be the professional you'd like everyone to take you for. You appear more knowledgeable, respectful, and helpful when you follow up and as promptly as possible. If you deal with a person just once, they're likely to forget about you, even if they bought something from you online, let's say. But if you follow up with them, you're checking in on them, you're answering their questions, addressing their concerns, you're sending them more free content anyway with emails. I mean, that is class. That stands out. That makes you a success because that client loves you and they're telling all of their friends about you too digitally, in person, or both. So for sure, networking and relationship building is what comprises the door of success. But follow-up, that's the key that unlocks the door. Successful people, true entrepreneurs, always follow up. Wantrepreneurs, as they're called, they find any excuse not to. I've got laundry to do, they whine. Put it in the washing machine, set a timer on your phone so you don't forget or lose track, then use the phone to follow up, I say. Well, I don't want to be seen as aggressive or pushy, entrepreneurs will whine. The lead or leads in question either came to you or showed interest when you networked with them. And you're in business. People expect to be sold to when they're dealing with a businesswoman, okay? Pick up the phone or device and call. Send in the email, send the text, send the message, respond to the comment, etc. And here's the rub. Most people that you come into contact with concerning your business 
will not automatically follow up with you. You didn't corner the market on being busy after all. Most people won't otherwise deliver what you want or need after the first contact. And even if someone asked you to contact them or return their call or whatever, most of those people won't respond back right away or at all. So you must continue to follow up until you get what you want. Respectfully, tastefully, sure, but follow up you must. Now at one point you're going to feel worried that you're being aggressive. All of this follow up and nothing's happening. You should probably bail, right? No one wants to be stalked down, do they? You're not that kind of girl. But here's the thing. If you're polished and professional, polite and succinct as you engage in your follow up efforts, you're positive and upbeat as you do it too. Here's the deal. Keep following up until you're declined or told no. Why? Because statistically speaking, 80% of successful sales outcomes occur somewhere between the 7th and 12th contact with someone. Seriously. And most entrepreneurs, they give up after one, two, three times. That's one big reason why most businesses fail and very few succeed. So remind yourself of this stat whenever you feel funny about following up on a business lead, a question, trying to get yourself booked on a podcast or a YouTube collaboration, or really whenever you're following up on anything. Remember, if you weren't told no, then you just didn't get it, whatever it is, yet. Keep at it and follow up until you get a response. If you're tastefully persistent and consistent, you'll get what you want no matter how busy someone is. It's likely that they've been busy and they're just falling out of integrity with you in terms of getting back to you. It's likely nothing personal and not even a rejection unless and until they say no. Don't play head games with yourself. Just follow up and follow through. What I want you to come away from this video with is that if you want to take your situation from hobby to business, you have to be an entrepreneur who engages in follow up versus a entrepreneur who has more excuses than there are people in this world. Come on, mama. Put together a follow-up system that makes sense for you to use, whether it's digital, tangible, or a mix of both, and use some of your power hour time every single day to engage in whatever sort of business follow-up that you need to do. Your business and your family and your self-esteem will thank you for it. Now, make sure you hit that notification bell because in the next video of this series, I'll share with you how to increase your self-esteem as someone who's balancing the roles of motherhood and entrepreneurship. When the kids are crying, your significant other is impatient with you for not having what they can think a successful business yet, or even you are being your own worst enemy because perhaps you don't have what you think is a successful business yet and you're trying so hard. Well, I've got some advice that'll hopefully help you to treat yourself and your life as noteworthy, meaningful and important. You don't want to miss that video. So if you're interested in learning about all of that, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can follow along with that video and the entire series. In the meantime, make sure you check out these two awesome videos as well. I talk a lot about social media, content marketing, entrepreneurship for moms who have to juggle home and business, online marketing, so many different topics. So make sure you're also checking out these two videos as well. And also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot when you do this. So I'd highly appreciate it. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.